Israel's army is warning of more aggressive military action against Hezbollah if it doesn't stop attacking its positions and pull back from the border. But its officials say they will also give a chance for diplomacy. The Lebanese armed group too appears ready for a political settlement, but not before Israel's war on Gaza ends. A few days ago, Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah said this battle created an opportunity to liberate every inch of Lebanese land. And that appears to be what U.S. envoy Amos Hoshtin is looking to discuss with Lebanese officials, the possibility of starting negotiations on ending territorial disputes along the land border as a way of containing the conflict. Hoshtin was in Israel last week. I think you've all heard what the government in Israel has said, which is that there is a narrow window, but that they prefer a diplomatic solution. I think that is the case. We have, we're living in a crisis moment where we would like to see a diplomatic solution, and I believe that both sides, our preferred diplomatic solution is our job to get one. But that may take time. The Prime Minister's office says the U.S. is looking for middle ground to reduce tensions before a final deal can be worked out. In the early days of the conflict, Lebanon's Prime Minister said the decision for war or peace was not in his government's hands. Now, he says, the country is ready for talks on long-term stability on its southern border with Israel. Many interpret this as approval from a more powerful Hezbollah for indirect negotiations to begin. Lebanon's Deputy Speaker of Parliament played a role in indirect negotiations that led to the maritime border deal between Lebanon and Israel in 2022 and says war is not the solution. If the objective is to return settlers to their settlements in the north, we have the same objective, which is the return of all Lebanese villages to their border villages and farms. The solution should come through diplomatic means, and no one can find any other solution. Violence is escalating on the ground, but the warring sides are still limiting their attacks on military targets and keeping them largely to the border, at least for now. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.